great excitement at the official opening of the first German school in Kurdistan, Iraq. Representatives of the Kurdish Ministry of Education, the Federal Foreign Office, the Central Office for German Schools Abroad, companies working in the region, as well as teachers, parents and children, come together to celebrate the inauguration of the Deutsche Schule Erbil on 16th of September 2010. Last but, not least, Last but not least, I would like to thank all the parents who have trusted us with their children without knowing how we are actually going to organize this school, in which way we are going to make sure that the Kurdish and German syllabus will be taught, who have great expectations, and I can assure you that we will do our best to guarantee that your expectation will be met and that we will offer your children an education that will allow them to organize their lives in a meaningful way for themselves as well as for the region of Kurdistan and the country of Iraq. With over 120 students from the age of 3 to 12 years, the DSE reaches record numbers of registered pupils at the launch of a German school abroad. Of course, the opening of such a school in German language strengthens the understanding between peoples. As I said before, this school will be a bridge between the region of Kurdistan and Germany and other German-speaking countries in Europe. I hope that with this we will contribute to a great extent to the understanding between peoples and cultural exchange. Yeah, my Monday is Iraqa. My husband is Iraqi, an Arabic citizen. He wanted to return home and opened a shop here. And I said, of course, I come along so that we can be a family. Around two-thirds of the registered students are children of returning Kurds from Europe. Many of them come from Germany. Kurdistan is still foreign to them, and they find a piece of home within the German school. I like that everyone speaks German and I feel like in Germany. The founding of a German school in Erbil plays a central role in the decision of Kurdish parents wanting to return to their homeland. I have three children. All of them were born in Germany. One month ago I returned to my city and I hope that my children will not forget the German language. That's why I want to keep them studying and learning at the German school. I am in Germany almost 35 years. It's a little homesickness. That is why I returned, because it's politically and economically very stable. And that is why I want to build up something here. In its first year of operation, the Deutsche Schule Erbil offers education from kindergarten to grade five. Further expansion of the school, including the German Abitur, is planned for 2018. With over 50 children from the ages three to five, the kindergarten is already fully booked. New registrations are coming in on a daily basis, most of them from Kurdish parents who want to offer their children a multilingual and multicultural education of a European-wide recognized standard. There is a little difference between our Kurdish school in Erbil and this German school. The children have been used to move freely, speak freely. This is not normal in Erbil, but because I come from Germany, it's normal for me. The language of instruction at the DSE is German. The curriculum harmonizes with the German and the Kurdish syllabus. Some teachers come from Kurdistan and have lived and worked in Germany for many years. I have the preschool, I do math, German support and the assistance, intensive assistance with the kids. Learning the alphabet, numbers and colors, general things. For example, the names of each double, fruits, generally speaking. The Central Office for German Schools Abroad supports the Deutsche Schule Erbil with an appointed teacher and course materials that are especially designed for teaching German as a foreign language. Here in this class, almost half the students cannot speak German yet, which is a special challenge for the kids to follow the lesson. They must simply receive regular lessons in German as a foreign language almost every afternoon, and we have envisioned this. 
It is very, very necessary. In a few weeks' time, it will be much better. And at Christmas, they will understand most of it. English and Kurdish are taught from grade one and Arabic from grade four. Additional language classes for children needing to learn German are offered in the afternoons. The children must learn or get used to begin from the right side, like this. Kitchen manager Doris Mouloud from Bavaria takes care of the physical well-being of the children. Every day she cooks fresh meals with carefully selected ingredients. Two weeks into the school year, the kitchen breaks even and can fully finance itself with its turnover. This is all freshly made, all meat bought from the butcher without preservatives. The children exchange coupons for their meals, which their parents purchase at the administration office at the beginning of each week. During breaks, the kids love to play on the newly fitted artificial grass courtyard or play football on the new sports ground. Since May 2010, Jürgen Ender has been directing and managing the project Deutsche Schule Erbil. With the opening of the school in September, he became the headmaster of the DSE. Das ist nun mal eine ganz neue Aufgabe, die mit der ich im bisherigen Verlauf meines beruflichen This is yet again a completely new task which I had not been confronted with in my previous professional career that I mainly carried out in Africa. To build up a school, especially in regards to the potential here in Kurdistan, is a very exciting responsibility. To get something like this started with the aim to enable the children to get an education that will significantly improve their life chances is therefore not only a very exciting but also not an easy job and certainly one that will keep me busy for several years to come. And I'm happy to do this. Every Thursday there's a school assembly in which various topics are discussed. Sometimes even a film is screened. The city of Erbil is situated in the north of Iraq and is also the capital of the autonomic region of Kurdistan, which stretches until the borders of Turkey and Iran. Over thousands of years, Hawled, as Erbil is called in the Kurdish language, has grown in circular manner around its central monument, the citadel, in which people lived until two years ago. With its more than 6,000 years old ruins, Erbil is one of the oldest permanent settlements of humankind. In the past 30 years, many Kurds had to leave their country due to political reasons. After the termination of Saddam Hussein's regime, the region of Kurdistan has stabilized and is now experiencing a tremendous economic boom. The bazaar at the bottom of the citadel reminds of a dream from 1001 Arabian Nights. Festive clothing is sold on every corner. After the war, there's always a good reason to celebrate. Also, the German school is a symbol for change and reconstruction. Formerly known as the Shahid Mamoun Dabakh School, the building was availed by the Kurdistan Ministry of Education and until several weeks ago looked like this. In blistering temperatures of up to 50 degrees Celsius and during Ramadan, Christian and Muslim workers from Iraq and Turkey completed the renovations under the instructions of Headmaster Yuganenda in only two and a half months. They check on the 16th in the morning. They come to check the building. It was a lot of work, but I really enjoyed here in Kurdistan. I did the work gladly, as it is good for the country. And I wish that it will also happen in Baghdad and Basra.
Although I do not know Germany, I like the school especially because Arabic and English are taught. Unlike other private schools, the DSE is non-profit and mainly financed through donations. The monthly school fees range from 150 US dollars for kindergarten and 175 US dollars for preschool and primary school children and are solely used to maintain and build up the school. The list of sponsors is long, but more donations are needed to complete the outstanding projects, such as equipping, fitting and furnishing this computer room, or finalizing the school swimming pool. With this, the first step of my vision has become reality. The hole for the future swimming pool is already there. And one needs visions to build up something like that to make things better, because something like this does not exist in schools here yet. In Deutschland sehr, sehr viele Regeln sind. Und das wollen wir nicht. Dann sind wir nach hier gekommen, sehr, sehr heiß. Und wir haben einen großen Schwimmbad. Mir fällt an der Klasse, dass die Sachen jetzt auch aus Deutschland kommen. Und so. Also genau wie eine deutsche Schule. Wenn ich fleißig lerne, dann werde ich klug. Come along and participate in the success of Deutsche Schule Airbnb. The leaders of tomorrow are learning here.